Work is in a full swing in this repair shop, even though many of its employees are fighting in the war. We now have five displaced persons who took the open positions at the company. They are all really high-level specialists. Before the war, Maxim Kudryashov worked at large industrial plants in Mariupol. Today he's working again in Rivne. I finally have normal dreams again. Before that, for a month, in all my dreams, I was running away. With his wife Ludmilla, seven years old daughter Lisa, and a pet rabbit, his family escaped after living in their hometown of Mariupol for a month while Russian forces occupied their city. The rabbit was so helpful for our child. We would put headphones on her head so that she couldn't hear explosions. She would sit and hug the rabbit. With music in her ears, she hid in a corner with a rabbit, covered by a blanket. Then we hid in the basement the same way. The rabbit passed all the checkpoints in its owner's arms when the family left Mariupol heading west. Our car was marked with white ribbons, with a large sign saying children. It was obvious I was carrying a child in my arms, yet they still shot at me. Maxim and Lyudmila stayed in Mariupol for a month because her gravely ill mother needed constant care. Forced to make a painfully hard life choice, they decided to flee when they realized the Russian army was destroying their neighborhood house after house. People did not have time to leave the buildings. They fell from the ninth, eighth, seventh floors crying. We saw people jump out of windows because their apartments were on fire and it was impossible to help them. The couple says it was a miracle they escaped. Ludmila's mother died in Mariupol after family fled and their neighbors buried her in the yard. In the relative safety of Rivne, Maxim with his family also managed to leave behind some of their fear. I became interested in playing the piano a year ago and bought a synthesizer. One tune I composed is called Music of the Sea. I've mixed it with a video of our Azov Sea filmed from the pier. When the war started and everything burned down, everything was destroyed, this video became like a farewell to the city for me. I watch it sometimes, reminiscing about how things were. Amalyano Shudlak for VOA News, Rivna, Ukraine.